Paloma is stamping. Friends, this is Oksana from funstamper.com and today I have a fun project for you. How to create this beautiful origami uh, box that holds, I think it holds up to six cards. So let me show you the card of the box, how it opens and it holds cards and envelopes. And what I like about that, that you could actually travel with that. You could store it flat and then it pops up. Idea is actually not my. Um, I saw the idea done by Paper Pixie. She has instructions. I just modify the instructions to make it my own. Um, also, um, the scoring that she does, she, it's more kind of folding and it takes longer time. And if you have a diagonal scoring tool, I will show you how to do it. All right, let's get started. So for this project, you need one sheet of paper and actually if you have a paper that doesn't have any directions it's gonna work the best like you see here um, my paper does have directions so it looks nice here but kind of on the back it's gonna be upside down um, my instructions online will have you have to score uh, if your paper has directions uh, directional kind of layout uh, but let's just concentrate on that so 12 by 12 this is what you need and we will take our regular scoring tool we position our pattern if it's you have directional paper it's up and down for us doesn't matter we're gonna score at three and we're gonna score at nine we're gonna rotate it counterclockwise so patterns go from left to right and then we're gonna score at four and a half at five and a half 10 and 10 and a half. Till this point, my directions are exactly the same as Paper Pixies, but then she will, we need to make diagonal score for box nicely fold. And she kind of proposed you to do it freehand, what it, you can do, but it's take a lot more time. So what I figured out, if you do have diagonal score port um, from old ones that's stamping up, hold it, here's an arrow. You insert it in your thing all the way up. You will need to remember one and a half and three and a half. And I'll kind of show you how to do it. So when we're gonna do a box, this one inch is gonna be your base. And we wanted to have diagonal score lines from basically the base in each corner. So four diagonal lines. So let's start here. My diagonal, my I wanted to score from here to there. The score line is four and a half. I subtract three and it's going to be one and a half. So one and a half on a side, I position it and I score and it meets nicely in the center. I rotate and here is my next one to score. This one also in four and a half. So I position on this line in one and a half and score and it meets. I rotate again. And here where I need to have score two, and it's it's six and a half minus three because my panel is three, gonna be three and a half. So you put it at three and a half, tick mark, and score it to this line. You rotate one more time and do exactly the same, three and a half. So you're gonna be two times at three and a half and two times one and a half. So those score lines already done for you and it's gonna fold perfectly. All right, let's assemble our box. Take our snips. Let's fold everything so we could see some patterns. I find out it's gonna be harder for you to see. Some of them could be easier. And here, when I have a top, that half inch mark and another mark, this is your flap. I want to remove those rectangles. Tiny one and the first one. So I'm just gonna remove it. Scrap. As I said, reject. And here's another one. So this project will be really nice if you could have two sheets of paper. From one you create cards and from another one you will just um, do a box. Nice gift uh, to, for people to give and you could really easily travel with that. So go ahead and reinforce all the lines. 
use your bone folder or if you like me I do everything freehand and excuse my bandage my husband made our knives super sharp and I didn't expect it so some little injury all right so now those score lines you wanted to fold those score lines like so see so kind of make a triangle and then that fold line stands up and it's much easier when you have all the score lines done for you to do it than when you do it fold it by hands so we do exactly the same way so you kind of pulling from in inside and we're gonna do it this one i hope i'm still on camera and you ladies see it the purpose is just to show how to score and fold i have a request from my class i had a creative escape and we did this one as one of the projects and i tried to type tutorial and it was just almost impossible for me to 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 type it you kind of to explain how to score it and have to fall so I thought video gonna do better job so let's just see if our box gonna stand up see, our box should stand nicely so after you reinforce all, all the lines kind of play with them a little bit then we will start to assemble and you I suggest to use really strong adhesive you could use either tear tape or wet glue wet glue will take some time to dry either uh, will work um, I will do a combination for the video so I'm gonna do tear tape in one area and the rest gonna be wet glue gonna be faster so think about those triangles right it's not quite a triangle but whatever the shape it is right you really wanted to apply glue on that shape you're not touching those small triangle mid rectangle and this another small triangle just on those apply this apply this and I suggest to do everything at the same time it will be easier or if you want to do by section you do one side not a top just one side so idea is we're gonna just glue those triangles and everything else is movable. We just go ahead and remove it. Our one did hold four cards and four envelopes, but I had kind of room to hold even more. So you go ahead and apply more glue. And, you know stay in those lines right you don't want to it's okay to go this way but you don't want to go past those triangles so after you have it let me check that so kind of see all the four pieces after you apply your glue adhesive you fold it and you kind of give it a nice wrap and wait if you're using the liquid glue wait for a few minutes to kind of settle I use combination I think it should be fine all right and then let's just do or make origami work let's see if the struggler will help and here you have it voila you have a box if it's bothers you that opens like that you know you technically could apply adhesive and and glue it I really like that kind of effect that you could fold it flat even for storage um, tie any ribbon Let's see which ribbon I have gold always will do the trick and then you could put a tag um, possibilities are endless look on those beautiful papers or maybe some papers that you don't necessarily know what to do with that create a beautiful box add little tag to it a little focal point and have a gift it does not necessarily need to be just for the cards, right? It could be especially for your holidays. You could have multiple things to actually put it inside. So hope you like this project. Visit my blog funstamper.com for more ideas. Drop me a comment um, if you think diagonal tool is working. And until then, happy stamping. Bye.